it's Ann here. Happy Monday. I am excited to be with you tonight. Sorry I'm popping on a few minutes late. Uh, my brother-in-law stopped by. He needed to pick something up for me. So I was waiting for him to swing by because um, I didn't want to start my video and then him walking through the door. So I hope you've had a great day. Um, I don't know where you were or where you live, but uh, the weather here was crazy. Yesterday was like sunny, warm, um, and it was like 16 degrees and then today it was rainy freezing rain and wet snow by the time we did bus duty at the end of the day I think we've seen all the weathers in the last four, 48 hours or 24 hours it was crazy I don't know about you but I'm so tired of the cold wet and rain I'm ready to move on to warmer temperatures outside gardening I cannot wait so I'm popping on and it's our Monday night crafting session. And can you believe this is actually number 51? We've been crafting together for 51, not weeks, but 51 times. Because um, there was a few weeks we took some time off. So I'm excited to be with that. And today I'm showing you some new product that was is available now called the Ways of Ocean Collection. So I'm super excited to show you the projects that I've made with that. That is actually my focus for the week. So I sat down on the weekend and created a whole bunch of projects with it. And I will be sharing some of them with you today and then you will see some of them on my blog. So let me check my settings and make sure that everything looks good. And if you're here, say hi so that I know you're on with me. Um, as you know, I go live Monday nights in my, my group. I like going live in my group because that's when you guys get notifications. And then I always post the blog, the video to my blog, usually by Wednesday or Friday, and it always goes to my YouTube channel. So if you're not a subscriber to my YouTube channel, please come and follow me and tell your friends about me so that we can have more people join our crafting community. I don't know about you, but this crafting community is like my heaven on earth. Like I love it. Um, I love crafting. I love the social part. I just love hanging out with people. And honestly, it's my therapy. I really do enjoy spending time in my room after a long day at work. I don't know about you, but it is music to the soul. So I hope you will share my YouTube channel with your friends and come join me so that we can eventually do some YouTube lives. That is my goal for 2020. Two. Can you believe it? We're 2022. I can't even believe we're in March. Like, where did January and February go? All right, so let me check my settings. Uh, if you're here, say hi. Let me know how your day was. Hi, Kim. How are you? Hope you've had a great day. Um, thank you for joining. I'm just trying to find my thing here on um, my iPad. As I said to you, uh, we have some new things to share with you. I'm excited. This is a uh, new product, and maybe you have not seen this new product yet. And maybe you've seen pictures and on people's blogs and social media, but it's something different to actually see it in person. Um, I did a Facebook Live with my team last week and I didn't really get a chance to create a project. So my order just came in and it had all that new product in and I thought, why not share it with them? And actually some of my team members were like, wow, like that paper is gorgeous. Like, oh my gosh, like now I could actually see I might order that set. So sometimes seeing things in real life makes you think different about a product. I'm the same way. I know when I look through a catalog and then I'm like, oh wait, nah, I don't really like that set or that set's not me or I don't know what to do with that set. And then obviously my demonstrator friends start showing projects with it. And then I'm like, oh, I really like what they did with that. And it changes your view. And then you're like, yes, I need to have that. So that is hoping I will inspire you with the Ways of Ocean collection. This new collection is beautiful. It's a sneak peek from the new 2023, sorry, 2022-2023 annual catalog. And as a demonstrator, I'm let you in on a little secret. I get to see that new catalog in 16 days. I'm so excited. Like, we're going to crash the system. Um, yeah, I'm so excited. I cannot see. So I get to see a PDF of it. And then I'm actually attending an on-tour event in April where I will get the catalog sent to me and get our stamp set from the new catalog. So I'm excited for that. And if this actually sounds exciting to you and you're like, wow, I want to see the new catalog early, reach out to me. We would love to have you join my Stamp to Create team. We are a group of ladies from the East Coast to the West Coast. And we are, our crafting community is huge. We have over 70 on our team and we are a close knit group. We love, like we we're, we have a Facebook group, a very active Facebook group. We meet regularly. The support we have from our team is credible. And those ladies to me are my family. Like I can't imagine life without them. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to flip my camera. I'm gonna show you what I have for the hostess code this month. I'm gonna show you the new product and I've actually 
doing a simple stamping card tonight. Can you believe that? I was like, I never do simple stamping. So let's do something different tonight and try it out and see how it goes. Actually, it wasn't too bad. All right, so let me flip the camera and we will get started. Just give me one minute. All right, oh, I hit something on my way. That was not a smooth thing. Sorry about that. I hit a button while I was, God, I gotta figure out that transition easier. I know there's people using Steamyard. Maybe I should look into that. If you use Steamyard, let me know what you think of it. Um, okay, if someone can let me know how my view looks, that would be great. Um, I'm just checking my, I know we're a few minutes delay. I think we look straight now. So if someone can let me know with a thumbs up if we're straight, the view looks great, that would be awesome. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to check. I'm actually going to check my camera view too. Okay, so this month's hostess code is right here. So if you shop in my online store or give place an order with me, you are actually going to get to choose a set of green blends. So as I think I told you last week, my background is Irish. My mom was born in Ireland. Um, she was born in um, Cookstown. And I like the whole theme of St. Patrick's Day. It's just a kind of a fun day. So I wanted to share with you that if you place an order, you get over $50 as my way of saying thank you, you get to pick a pair of Stampin' Blends, any of the green shades. So that could be Old Olive, Mossy Mellow, um, Evening Evergreen, Just Jade, Soft Succulent, um, Granny Apple. You can pick any of those colors and then that will be, I will send them to you in the mail app. So what I do is wait till the end of the month and then I mail them out. All right. So let's get started. So tonight I told you we we're showing you the new ways of inspir the new ways of inspiration bundle. As I said, this bundle is an out of public publication. That was a mouthful. Out of product, out of publication release. I think that's the word I'm looking for. So let me show you the fire. So here is the wave of oceans. It is available from now to May 2nd. You can buy it as a suite where you get all the collection, all the products. So you get the bundle, the designer series paper, the special paper, and the waves, uh, the rhinestones, which you're going to love the rhinestones. Um, so you can get that as a collection. Or you can buy the bundle, which is what I'm going to show you. Or you can buy just the paper or the blue foil or the rhinestones. So here's a little tip. This stamp set and bundle, this stamp set and die, is going to carry over into the new annual catalog. These products down here are while supplies last. So if you like them, I would say order them early. Don't wait till the end of beginning of end of April, beginning of May, because most likely they're not going to be around. Um, and it has been a very popular one with demonstrators. So uh, lots of I've seen lots of samples with this collection. All right, so it is a cling stamp, which means it's our red rubber. Um, beautiful sayings. You're totally awesome. Your strength is an inspirational. Happy birthday. I love the wave and this little pelican sitting on them. Oh, what do you call those? Like piers. Piers, what I'm looking at. And then there's matching dies. So there's like um, two sets of waves. This is actually a really cool one to have. These little slots cut out. So you can slide ribbon, ribbon through there or cardstock. You have clouds. Here's the pelican and on the pier, you've got some birds. So lots you can do with this. Um, I find like when I look at stamp sets, I'm, I tend to go towards the nature stamp sets and I really like the nature stamp sets because I feel that there's something you can use for any occasion, whether it's um, sympathy, thank you, thinking of you, masculine birthdays. I tend to like that natural nature and I, maybe that's because I love being outdoors and I love gardening and I love birds and everything about it. So I'm a tr I really like those sets. Okay, so wave of inspiration. Okay, here are my, these are the rhinestones and you get five different colors. I, I can't get enough of them. Like I like so much. So I wanna say it's like Night and Navy Pool Party. No, sorry, Night and Navy Pacific Point. This might be Pool Party, Coastal Cabana. I wanna say this might be like Granny Apple and then maybe Bermuda Bay. So there's different shades of the rhinestones. Um, you can get the foil paper. So the foil paper comes in 12 by 12s. So I'm just gonna show you, here is one of the blues. So this is like a Coastal Cabana. 
And then obviously this is the Knight in Navy. So Costa Cabana Knight in Navy. And I haven't actually cut into my silver yet. But there is. So these are all 12 by 12 pieces. Uh, so you can see the pieces. So there's uh, silver, Costa Cabana, and um, Knight in Navy. Beautiful paper. And I'm going to show you ways that I use that this weekend. So as I said, I'm trying to pick a product and highlight it and then create a whole bunch of projects with it. Okay, so here is the designer series paper. And I actually shared a video with you on Saturday or Sunday of how this paper was made. A concept artist actually made this paper. It reminds me of like paint and that's what she did. She literally put poured paint onto canvases and then the canvases went into. So there's one, there's another. Um, let me just kind of flip through here. I should create little sheets, but I'm just going to pull this out so you guys can see it. Uh, so there's like yellows and there's a dark blue. There's that with that yellow. There's pink with that. That with that one. This one's really cool. I actually said these would look kind of cool just as like home decor in your bathroom. Like if you have a nautical bathroom. Um, this one here reminds me of um, the waters in Mykonos, Greece, like just beautiful colors. Uh, so there is all the um, designer series papers. Let me just push this back in. All right. So tonight's project, I told you, we are creating a simple stamping. And this is something I don't do very often. When I sit down to create, I am always using my embossing folders. I'm always using my dies or my punches. So to sit down and create just a stamp, a card with paper, ink, and stamps is sometimes hard to do because you think, oh, I want to add a punch or I want to add a die or I want to do embellishments. So I tried to really showcase a variety of projects using this stamp set and I thought I really need to do a simple stamping. All right, let me grab a scrap piece of paper. And I'm actually just gonna put this down. So we are going to use this big wave stamp set. And for this big stamp set, you can either use the um, Stamparatus or you could use our big block. And I am using block F. So this is block F. And we're going to use three different colors of inks. I am using Costa Cabana, Bermuda Bay, and Night and Navy. Bermuda Bay is like my favorite color. Uh, these kinds, this actually is my blog theme. I did the Bermuda Bay in black. So we're gonna ink up with Costa Cabana. So I'm literally just inking up all over the stamp. All right. Mm -hmm. My puppy's looking at me like, what's, who's here? Who's knocking on the door? <laughs> Little does he know it's just me. I'm just going to kind of randomly put some over there. So I did Bermuda Bay. I just went over top of it. And then I'm going to do a little bit of Night and Navy. Not a lot. There we go. Okay. All right. So we're going to bring in our paper. And let me just bring in my sample so I see what I'm doing here. We're going to take this. Now I find like here is the edge of my card. So I'm going to the edge of my stamp and it's kind of hard to tell so I actually just kind of went down a little bit off of it so I could see where I'm going and we're just gonna stamp here okay look at that paper look at that color of the waves this is like a beautiful set I was hooked on like when I first stamped it I was like wow I love just the stamps itself uh, hello Shonda hello Nancy Hello everybody who's joining, thank you. So beautiful, like I love the just the different color tones in it. So you could do a lot with this ink pad. I'm sorry, this stamp set, you just have to like try different inks and stamp it out. All right, so let me just put that over there. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to bring in the Pelican on the pier. So, you know, when you're traveling, you see these. And I kind of was like, Oh, I don't like the way this is left hanging here with this white spot. I'm going to ink it up in black. So when I actually sat down to play with this set, I'm going to come a little closer here so I can see. 
when I sat down to play with this set, I stamped my um, I stamped my Pelican in crumb cake. I did not like it. Then I stamped it in soft suede. I wasn't a fan. I found for me the best one was in memento, and then I could color it in with my blends. So we're going to use, um, I, I just thought I would add a little bit of ink to the, again and then I outlined my pier in dark oh the cut I went out I have a cut on my finger from the amount of hand washing I do during the day and sanitizing my poor hands are done with this cold wet cold weather and, I, and so I'm trying not to use the tip just the way I wanted it and I of course so I'm just gonna kind of like go around it so sign to see where Stampin' Up! has done those darker, like, hashtags, I want to call it, hash lines. And I'm actually going to go like this. Okay. And then the color in here. I might have to, I think I need to do this. So I kind of colored it, and I'm going to show you my thought process. So I colored it, and I was like, oh, I don't really like the way it is sitting like that. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to re-stamp that um, pier. And we're just going to stamp it on white. Okay. Let me move some of my blocks out of my way here. Okay, so then what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to color it again. So I'm just going to outline it. Oh, once again. So tell me, do you have this stamp set or this collection yet? I'm going to ask you again at the end of the video because maybe by the time I show you this, you might have some different views. All right, so let's blend. Gonna kind of blend. Let's color it again. Just want to add some a little bit of dark here. I feel like when you look at piers, they're like rustic because they're so weathered from the water and the waves. So let's just color around here. Now, I know this can be die cut out because there is a matching die and I'm gonna show you that. So I could easily take my dies and cut this out, but I don't really need to do that because I don't want the bird per se. I only want the pier. So we're just going to do a little bit of fussy cutting and you're like, but Ann, I'm like, I know, I just want the bird, I just want the pier, I don't want anything else. Let me just put this over here. <laughs> My puppy's barking. I can hear him. He's probably like needing something. Oh well, I'll have to wait a few minutes. Okay, so eventually I'm going to bring my card back in here. I'm actually just going to put this down like this, and we can move this. So I wanted to get the greeting that says, your strength is an inspiration. Because some people walk through storms of life, and I swear, like, when they come out, you're just like, wow, like, you're a warrior. So I thought this, this, this stamp really tugs at my heart because it, to go through a walk of life through a you know really makes you stronger so I just wanted to share it like so I thought your strength is an inspirational and then uh, there's these little birds and once again I'm like love these little birds when they do it 
and I'm just going to like stamp. Oh, I hear him. Let's see if I can go back over that one. You know how sometimes you see the birds coming through the water? So I, I'm just going to see if I can read. Oh, I don't know if I can do that one. Let me grab a. Let me just grab my black marker. And press down hard enough. There we go. Okay. So then, what we're going to do is I'm going to move my ink pad so I don't stick my hand in it. And I'm going to grab my dimensionals. And I'm just going to pop this up. And there you go. There is my simple stamping card that says your strength is inspirational. So there's that one. And I'll show you the other one I made because it does have different, um, just the wave, just the way you stamp it. So you can see, oh, I colored his beak. I didn't color his beak on this one. Um, so you can see just a difference how I stamped the waves looks different. Um, this one has a little bit more of the Bermuda in it, but then this one has like, I kind of blended it a little bit different. So there's those two cards. I'm going to show you some other projects. Um, so last week I focused on the rainbow bundle and I wanted to show you that you could use that blue foil paper, just not for the waves, but for other things. So we made um, this card. I actually did this on a Facebook Live Friday night. So you could see this one, but there's the blue and the Coastal Cabana. Um, this is one of the projects that I cased from the catalog because I always like to case a project first and then create. So here's the one I created from the flyer. Um, so I stamped our friendship is a thing of beauty. And then I stamped those the wave and then I cut out one of the waves die cuts with the blue and then there's the the clouds and the birds and then that's the DSP so there's that one um, and then this is I just want to show you an example of how you can use that the ribbon die here's another one I made so I actually had stamped this one and I was like whoo I really like it so I just left it to the side so I could use it for something else. So I kind of wanted to show how to use the ribbon. Um, so I kind of slid my ribbon through, but then made it just like it was hanging out. And then I put a bow on this one. So this one says you're totally awesome. And then I can't share the one yet of my team, but I will share it with you on a blog. And I have a couple more here I'll show you. So this one actually uses, um, I just did the paper. So this one focuses on the paper and I did the, the blue foil and then I pulled in those blue rhinestones and I said, you're totally awesome. So you could send that to anybody. So super cute. And I wanted to show like different ways of how you could use these products, not just thinking of like the stamp set. And then here's another one where I did um, the wave in the background and I used a die cut. This is the Tasteful Labels. I cut out the strength, you're an inspiration, and popped it up. And then I put the DSP and then the, the two foil papers in the back. And then I have one more project and I will be posting that on my blog. These will be on my blog. Um, some of them will be on my blog this week. So I wanted to say thank you so much for joining me tonight as we create a simple stamping card. I'd love to hear what you guys think of my simple stamping card like I said it's one of those things that's hard to do like you just want to add those elements to it like die cuts and punches and um you know you just kind of keep it simple so I kept it very simple so I hope you guys like tonight's project and we're inspired by the ways of ocean collection um if you're interested in purchasing these you could head to my online store you can email me and if you already have it I would love to see the projects that you made with it all right, everyone, thank you. Let me just check to make sure I don't see any comments. So definitely want to say hello and thank you to those who stopped by tonight and watched. And if you're watching on the replay, thanks for joining us. So this this video will be posted to my uh, YouTube channel probably like Wednesday 
or Thursday, and I will be back to see you guys next Monday night, and maybe I'll do a pop-up Facebook Live sometime later in the week. All right, everyone, thanks for stopping by, and have a great rest of your evening. Bye for now.